As the Darwin property market goes gangbusters, a new trend is now emerging, with sales in school catchment areas skyrocketing. Tonight, we'll tell you which schools are attracting the most interest. It began as a grim year for Darwin's property market, but unexpected times have delivered a welcome bounce back. The current Darwin market is heating up and we've just seen a whole bunch of people moving up here. Many of those relocating as southerners, particularly from Victoria, snapping up properties in a hot minute. Well, what's happening is we used to average about one or two sales a month as an individual agent, and now we're averaging about four to six sales a month, and we cannot keep stock. This time last year, we had 1,600 rental listings on the market. Today, we're lucky to find 400 rental listings on the market. A report by Domain, which is part owned by Nine Entertainment, has revealed schools are now generating property hotspots. The Anya Primary School was the top performing, up 19.7%, followed by Wongori Primary School, up 11.9%. What we found for secondary schools is Dripstone Middle School was the top performing, with house prices in that catchment up 6.8%, followed by to Min Min College. Peter Kafkas from iProp Property NT says it's a noticeable trend. That's the majority of my sales now. Northern suburbs or a Palmerston around school catchment areas. He just sold this home across the road from Sanderson Middle School within days. Buyer came here last Sunday and then Monday it's already sold. It's good because you know there's a school in here uh, near all the amenities like coals. Good. It's good for the family, growing family. And it's not only the property vendors who are enjoying the upsurge. We've literally waited seven years for this market and it's fun waking up in the morning and telling a seller, hey, guess what, we can get you this much. And rather than, rather than them crying when we used to say the price. Zarisha Bradley, Nine News.